They're 6-10 in conference play. They've lost five straight and coming off a 29-point home loss to Duke. Georgia Tech has dropped five out of six. On the defensive side, Miami runs a lot of actions with their bigs and guards. Omir knocks down the straightaway three. Well, the Poplar has scored in double figures in four straight, but he's still playing through an ankle that he suffered back in December. And there is Bensley Joseph. Defending the three-point line again, Miami a team. In particular with Omer, we talked about his improved jumper, although that's a beautiful set play. Dongo to the UMass transfer, Tafara Gapari. Keyshawn George knocks down a three. He needed to see that go in. That's three threes for Miami, and I think the key thing is they're clean looks. That's got to change. Georgia Tech's got to do a better job contesting the three-point line. Kowasi Reeves from the outside in their last five. Early on, both teams... Uh, seem not to be missing much on the offensive side. Miami's four for four as Poplar's got five. With their starting unit and also guys coming off the bench, that's really been uh, the storyline for this Miami team. Reeves straightaway three, got it, Kowasi Reeves. And you can hear uh, the Georgia Tech coaches talking about ball movement, swing it, uh, don't hold the ball, don't let it stick. And, uh, this is about as good a start. This is all set up again. Excellent ball movement. The ball's going left to right. That's not a bad D. That's a guy, though, uh, from the logo. Dongo, the block. Uh, you don't mind him shooting from the perimeter as long as that's contested. Kelly running into some trees. Shoots over Omir, and Miles Kelly knocks it down. Georgia Tech is four for six from deep. Yeah, and it's been off of good ball movement. Again, uh, they worked all shoot around, swinging the ball, running their sets. Uh, both teams, it seems like, don't want to defend the three-point line. And Anish, that's twice now. Omer has tipped the ball to himself as we take a look at Matthew Cleveland, but he's tipped the ball to himself for a rebound. Good ball movement. Kelly catch, release, in and out. Offensive rebound and the lay-in by Tyjon Claude. You have to fight for those extra possessions early on. I think they're doing a pretty good job. Omir bowling balls to the rim went right at Claude. Head to Georgia Tech in scoring the last two games. Knocked into the air. Kelly bounces it on the floor. Tipped. Joe Bay diving forward, stolen away. Up ahead, Kelly in front of the pack, lays it in. Trying to get those extra opportunities, and that's something Damon Stoudemire, he was not happy about. He did not mince words about that, but that has changed in this game right here. Stolen away, Sturdivant. Knocks down the triple. Georgia Tech 5 for 10 from three-point land. Probably wishes he could have chosen his words better, but that was a message to this team. I want to see you compete. I understood the message pretty clear, and if anybody knows, uh, if you're a Georgia Tech fan or anybody associated with that, uh, I'm happy uh, that he is upset. Uh, they are responding. Uh, they are matching the energy and then some against the Miami team. Cleveland hits the mid-range jumper. Quicker to a lot of the loose balls. Miami able to get this one back, and Cleveland glides in. He's got six. And one of the few 50-50 balls. Contested jumper. That's where you want him shooting. Coleman a three, Georgia Tech, seven threes. A less than a second, that ball's either shot or they're swinging the ball. Excellent offense early by Georgia Tech. George with a deep three. Both teams have taken more than half. And on the other end, George with the answer. 16 of their 22 shot attempts are threes. Make it 17 out of 23, and the friendly roll for George. He's looking to push. George, the trailer, lines up a three. And Keyshawn George with his third triple. He's got nine. And Damon Stoudemire talked to us. Uh, at Dongo with the size advantage. Here's the double. Dongo the fade. He has gotten exponentially better with his low post moves through the course of this season. Key thing, again, uh, you take a look at Damon Stoudemire's staff. Uh, led by assistant Carl Hobbs. They do a great job working with these young players. Bensley Joseph hits the three. And Dongo's got a pretty good assistant coach to work with on those post moves and Bonzi Wells. As Miles Kelly 
drills it from deep. Uh, Bonzi Wells, one of the better mid-post, low-post. And he, we saw him out there and shoot around, running around. He looks like he can still go get a double-double. Keyshawn George with 11, his previous two games. Is he now in Jim Laranega's circle of trust? Here's George over to Joseph. Lays it in for two. Miami is lethal in transition. And that's a heads-up play by George. A four-point lead for Miami in a game that's featured eight ties and six lead changes already. Dongo with a nice move down low. Size advantage, don't settle. Spin move to the baseline, soft finish. Poplar from deep, that's the eighth three for Miami. Sturdivant doubled. And that baseline serves as a third defender. George leans in. Nate George, the freshman, has the green light to bring the ball up on a fast break. A lot of trust in the big man. Sturdivant smooth. A long NBA career, coached in the NBA, coached in college, and now at Georgia Tech. But the growth of George underneath him, that's a beautiful dribble drive and dip uh, by the freshman point guard. Poplar the pull-up. Let the game come to you. Shot fake by Sturdivant, the block by Joseph. Dongo swings it to Kelly, and the three is good. 11 threes in the opening half for Georgia Tech. Kelly's got four of them. He's got a game-high 14. Beating uh, Miami to those loose balls, and uh, again, the message received uh, that was given by their head coach. George gets free. He's got 16. That's his fourth three. Uh, for UConn, that was a little ahead of him that time, but ratio flashes. Oh, Gapari, thunder coming down the tracks. Well, you cannot run uh, offense any better right here. Kelly with 14 in the first half to lead Georgia Tech. He lines up a deep three. Give him 17, his fifth triple. George down the lane, Euro step, rebound Gapari. Bounce pass up ahead to Reeves. Fast break of the year, pass of the year nominee here. Transition break of the year right here. 15 of Georgia Tech's 20 baskets have been assisted. Kelly on the drive, 19 for him. And great job of blocking out that time by Dongo. Kelly feeling it just short. Here's Poplar. And there's Miami's first field goal and first points. And again, look at this right here, weaving through two. Look at the angle. Eyes on the rim. Was a big baseball player before that. Joseph on the drive. Good defense by Gapari. Sturdivant. The lob for Dungo with the throwdown. My goodness. Team some excellent transition offense. Sturdivant to Dungo. Omir using the shot fake. Joe Bay from the outside. And that's the key word all around. On both ends, he's been impactful. Down low, it's Dongo. They had enough offensive firepower to make up for it. With the injuries and guys playing through injuries, it zapped some of their offensive firepower. Well, I think the biggest thing has been, uh, as you said earlier, defensively, they've just been unable to defend. Look, even with the injury, as we take a look at an and one situation, Bo Coleman with the and one right here again. Don't settle for the jumper, take the contact. Shooting the ball well from the three-point line. Georgia Tech, 50%, 12 of 24. Joe Bay, the drive, the lob, and there is O'Neal. Doubling him, but then also keeping him off the offensive glass in the second half. Reeves squares up and hits. Christian Watson, number three into the game for Poplar. Coleman. Tip back, Reeves, and a second chance bucket for Georgia Tech. Here comes Watson, strong drive. Basket is good, plus the foul for Christian Watson. Up right here, nice screen by O'Meara. Clear the path, take the hit, and one. Georgia's been quiet in the second half. Kelly 
open, drills it. 22 for Miles Kelly. Erdovan's been one of the top reserves in the ACC this year. He'll launch. Two Canes went for the rebound, almost turned it over. And now let's see if Miami can push. Poplar, deep three. Got it, Wooga Poplar. He's got a dozen. Reeves beats the defense down at the other end. Really, Miami with this lineup, they have really five guards out on the court. Poplar swoops in. Here comes Kelly. And the pull-up three is good. 25 for Miles Kelly. Uh, for Georgia Tech, 47%. My goodness, they have shot the ball really well. Joseph drops it off to Watson. Joseph hits from three. New 20. Joseph gets the two, 76-71. Miami in the midst of an 8-0 run. Poplar to Joseph. Cleveland is open. Cleveland hits Miami within three. Poplar nearly stole it. Entry pass, Dongo in traffic. Cleveland for three. In and out, O'Meara another rebound. Joseph lines it up and hits. Two point game. Again, that's what he does. Georgia Tech. Poplar, baseline drive. It doesn't go, it comes back to George. He launches, time expires, Georgia Tech gets the road win at Miami.